Now, not so not necessarily fandoms, but just like properties. What are your top five like fan properties that you enjoy? And it can be wow. <laughs> here's the thing: caveat to make it easy, it does not have to be in order, and it can be currently what you're indulged in. Okay. Um, so across genres. I'm definitely a Demon Slayer fan and a My Hero Academia fan. But if we're going to look at anime, I'm a Death Note fan. Wow. Like all of the manga, all of the anime. I've even seen the musical. Like <laughs> it's, it's yeah, amazing. <laughs> yes, it's a <laughs> Korean musical. It's awesome. Um, it's <clears throat> Death Note is one of those stories kind of like uh, Ghost in the Shell that makes you think. And I love anime that has action, but also makes you think. I've already talked about Ghost in the Shell, so that's obviously going to be in there. So let's say Death Note, Ghost in the Shell. Um, hmm. I, in terms of indie comics, all right, comics as a whole, I kind of, I don't want to say I've been off put by mainstream comics, but I definitely lean more into comics. So um, I did not think I was going to like X-Men again oh. until Jonathan Hickman's run. Like I, I am old school X-Men. I love what was done with those characters, mm -hmm. but Power of X, House of X brought me back in. Okay. That whole run has actually been absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, and then I would also say, if we're going to look Indie. This is so hard. <laughs> Another really good story that I just don't think gets a lot of love. Um, there's a couple of them. I'm going to say it's not Invincible because I actually didn't read Invincible. I just started watching it like everybody else. Um, the comic 100 Bullets. And you can now read all of it. Um, I'm trying to think of when it actually started. Uh, the guy, very first you got a guy one. On Discord who he has unlimited resources for like these comic runs. So when oh okay out, yeah, so it's it's I'm a Brian it. it's a Brian Azzarello written comic, and also this is the thing that indie comics can do that mainstream comics can't do a lot. Indie comics can many times, especially if you're looking at Image and Valiant and stuff they will keep an artist and a writer for the entire run. Yeah, It doesn't change. Where Marvel and DC, because they're cranking things out so fast, no one has the schedule or the yeah. bandwidth to do that, so they keep having to change. Um, Brian Azzarello and Eduardo Riso did an amazing job on 100 Bullets. And the premise basically is, short and long of it is, there is a, there is, trying to give the shortest version. There's a man with a suitcase that shows up and, and gives you a choice. And these are all different people in all different scenarios. You can use one of these bullets and get revenge on a person, kill them for wronging you and get away with it. Or you can choose not to. But in every single instance, we get to hear this seemingly normal person, this extraordinary or extraordinary horrible thing that they've been through and the choice that they make. And it is fascinating. Um, so I, I tell people all the time that that is one that they absolutely have to read. Saga, not, well, no, Saga is now done. Yeah, I think Saga, it is. Saga is another one that if you haven't read is epic. And I don't, I don't even know, and it's really funny. Um, Saga's through Image Comics. And it is Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. Um, I think Fiona Staples even said it. She always, they, they, the whole point of this comic was to draw it in a way, create it in a way that it would be virtually impossible to adapt. And I, and I think they've done it because I'm, unless the outfit had a gazillion dollars, I have no idea how they would be able to cre recreate the world that they've created in this book. Okay. Unless Netflix picked it up as a series and they did it in pieces. <laughs> um, that was four. I can't think of the fifth one. Well, um, started off with my hero. And okay. Like, well, those, yeah, those I kind of like yeah. tangentially are always there. So I think, I think that's enough. I gave you comics, I gave you anime. I gave you a comic book. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah that's comic a comic book series. <laughs> All 